If you have a computer, there's a good chance there's an Intel chip inside of it. The company is it's outstanding at building silicon. Everything else, not so much. It dabbled in wearables, it's dabbled in streaming video, didn't quite catch up to the mobile world. If anything, Intel's just really good at building chips. But, possibly, maybe, potentially, Intel could be powering the next wave of autonomous vehicles. Now part of that autonomous future is Intel's purchase of Mobileye. The Israeli-based company builds a lot of the cameras you find on semi-autonomous vehicles. Now Intel and a lot of automakers are hoping that this company can help them achieve a fully autonomous car. Because of the acquisition with Mobileye, Intel and BMW have partnered up to put self-driving vehicles on the road. Now this is the first version of that vehicle, it's a BMW 7 Series. Now both companies by the end of the year hope to have 40 of them driving around the country. But it's going to take more than partnerships for Intel to pull this off. That's why the company's already working on 5G. Now they have an open source system that's based on Intel architecture that anyone can be part of. They also have an Intel automotive SDK, so you, you can just start building your car software. In addition to that, in order to handle all the data that's coming at the car from 5G, from other cars, from everywhere, they're working on an AI division that just started up. The chip makers also partner with Delphi. The tier one automotive supplier has been working on autonomous vehicles for years. And during a lot of that time, it's been using mobile eye cameras. And also inside the cars, Intel hardware. So can Intel pull this off? It already builds most of the silicon it needs for this initiative. It's partnered with the right people. And the purchase of mobile eye really gives it a step ahead. As long as it can stay the course, in a few years, your car might have Intel inside. <laughs>